So the last thing that I am is a cook. Last thing. But I bought, I saw this girl, let me back up. On YouTube, I forget what her name is. I'll put her name like right here. And she made this like pork chop bok choy rice thing. And she kind of threw it together and as, and she's like a cook, so she can go throw things together because in her head she just knows what tastes good together. She does not, she will eat random things that should not be together together. Um, I found this ginger sesame marinade thing in the fridge. Um, that's kind of like the taste that I'm going for, and for it. I'm like almost out of gold to I The closest like Asian market to my house is actually heartbreaking how far it is. To order somewhere, I found you can get it on. You get everything online nowadays. Not very much salt in this. That's like another reason why I don't think that cooking is necessarily for mom because I don't like tasting things before like, I'm eating them. I don't know. This is, this is definitely, if I was more patient, this would be better. But patience is never more thing. I have minced garlic. I think I'm going to be... This is sriracha. This is Trader Joe's sriracha, which is like not the same as the with the blue sriracha. But you know, this is good for my right now. Um, <coughs> why would I just take a gigantic whiff of garlic? Um, how much is like a normal amount of garlic? Like a teaspoon. So let's do that. Let's do that. coating the spoon and not in the way. Marinades are allowed to be salty, right? Because they're, 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 they're supposed to be salty. Definitely not as bad as um, fish sauce. <laughs> Girl, that stuff. Cucumber, I, no, I don't think I want to add oyster or sea fish sauce. Didn't know they had fish sauce. It's like water, is there water in soy sauce? Don't, don't, don't judge me. I'm gonna put some hot water. This is a different salt, so it comes out differently and I just I feel okay. this seems more liquidy and I definitely don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna add like Underrated Korean dramas. This is, I guess this is kind of, I think, I don't know if this is Korean related. Um, but Gokijong is Korean. I wrote some down at work. I think I totally left them there. Totally left them there. The three that I wanted to talk about, one I've already mentioned before, and I think I'm just gonna beat it into people's heads like a dead horse until I'm satisfied, which I think I never will be because I loved it so much and I haven't heard anyone speak about it. Um, chocolate, um, it's a show about a woman who's a chef, I believe, and she meets this doctor and they had like an encounter before, but then they 
make another encounter where she's working as like, you know, a, a cook at, a ho at, hos at hospice and he's working at the hospice as a doctor. Hospice, you know, doesn't sound super inviting. It's honestly such a good show. And like, I don't know, I think it's just really calm. And I think we all could use some calmness in your lives. That's really good. I also want to talk about, oh my ghost, sir, ma'am. So the woman from Strong Woman, I always want to say bong, bong dude. I, I can't remember, but um, Park Bo Young, I think is the actress. Am I mixing up actresses right now? I'm being a horrible human. No, it is, it is Park Bo Young. I think I said that two minutes ago, uh, two seconds ago. I am horrible memory, but Park Bo Young, Jo Jung Suk and Kim Soo Gi. I just saw a clip for it on Instagram because my Instagram is literally full of um, Korean drama like memes and things like that because I don't know. In my head, I'm like five pounds. That's really big. Five pounds is tiny. Monthly is so cute. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's a show about this girl who's like super shy and she likes people to talk all over her. She's working in a kitchen. She really likes the chef, but she has like no self-worth and eventually uh, wash your rice lady she has like no self-worth and then she meet she's able to see ghosts so i think you know that probably messed with her self-worth oh so so we're going to talk about it i'm going to talk about it whatever moving on she meets this ghost who's killed, but she doesn't know, well, she died and she doesn't know how she died. Kind of just spoiled something. So I think that's the first time I saw Park Bo Young. So I saw that before I saw Strong Woman. And she's just such a great actress. So recommend Oh My Ghost, it's a fantastic show. Um, I don't know, I really like there is a guy who's in it. He's like a comedian and I've seen it because he's in another ghost show, funny enough. Um, Kang ki -young. I really like him. He's hilarious. He's in another ghost show with Te O Ok Te Sun Te Te Young. I can't remember his name right now. The one that I literally spent like way too much time trying to figure out how to say his name. The Ok. Um, he's from GPM. But I really like him, he's really funny. What was the last one that I wanted to mention? I know that I wrote down three, this is gonna be annoying. Is this like the dirtiest rice ever, or am I just doing a crappy job at washing some topic? Where's the light? It's way over here. <laughs> um. I don't know a life without a rice cooker. Oh, look at the little baby bok choy. There's literally a baby bok choy, but that's like a little baby one. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. What do I do with, oop, that cut into. What do I do with, I'm just gonna, I don't Smells? Ew. Um, yeah, it definitely needs a wash. Um, definitely needs a wash. Will you fit in my salad? Not quite yet. Maybe I cut it. in the salad spinner. I don't really know how salad spinners work either. I kind of want to just spin. Spin, spin, spin. Oh this is why I don't cook this. Is, I literally have food in there. But my grandma literally mentioned, mentioned? I swear sometimes 
I'm trying to learn Korean and also like trying to remember a lot of the French that I've already learned and I'm convinced I'm forgetting English like I the other day I was like looking at like, my grandma has this statue in her living room and I couldn't remember the English word for horse like I kept going cheval cheval like cheval I'm like what is the name for that and my grandma kind of looked at me like she looked worried um <laughs> because you know horse not a hard word but I couldn't remember it for the life of me and I think it's because I'm trying to do too much at the same time um so I have cut back on because like you know trying to apply for grad school that has nothing to do with language um I don't know if I don't know what I'm doing I cook like the same things like I don't want to say that I don't cook because I can, but I cook like the same things. I've had bok choy my entire life. I've literally never cut it myself like this. Let's, should I cook all of the bok choy? Do I wait until it's boiling? Maybe I'll wait until it's boiling to put the Bok choy in. I don't know what I'm doing. At all. So no, I got in accent. How do you say Irish with a Scottish accent? Irish? I See, this is how absurd that I am. I'm literally cooking and I have food in there. Um, that I was eating and I literally stopped because I thought about this. Um, so I'm a crackhead. So let's watch this together. No, Salt. Is it just salt and you boil it? Okay. I think I'm gonna do the other bok choy. So it seems like she has more bok choy than me. This is a two to one rice bok choy ratio. But I don't know what that means. I do in the sense of like water and oil or like liquids. But how the heck do you do that with solids that aren't of like the same proportion? <laughs> oh, this is why I just order. This is why I get takeaway. I feel like maybe I should flip these bad boys around in here. Do I have chopsticks? Where are my chopsticks? There's one. There was one and there was two. There was one and there was two. Sound wo yo wo yo wo 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 yo wo yo wo. I'm sure this will be fine. This is wet. It's gross and I hate when my sleeves are wet. I feel like I'm in that scene and she's like, and I hear and she's like. Keep your sleeves clean. Keep your station. And she starts slamming things around like an actual psychopath because everyone in that kitchen is crazy. Does anyone else realize that? Can you eat bok choy raw? I, she didn't put a timer on this, so we're just gonna do it by eye. Yes. Ah! I. Definitely don't like the angles much because pants are lacking. I follow this Instagram that's like about learning Korean and she talked about like why are you learning Korean? Like do you like language? Do you like Korean dramas? Do you like K-pop? Like what what is your um, reasoning for learning it? And like I feel like mine is a mixture between I wanted to learn it because of K-dramas when I was like 13. Yeah, that's about right. But yeah, I wanted to learn then, and then I stopped because, I don't know, I think people like kind of just waited me because they're like, you learn something you can actually use. And I was like, okay, French, Francais. And like, don't like French that much. It's what I've always wanted to learn. It's what I wanted to learn since I was a kid. So I'm learning now, um, slowing down, um, because I don't think that I need to right now. It's, it's really like a lot of my plate applying for grad school. 
trying to finish my um, my bachelor's um, trying to like work on my YouTube so it's like a lot um, it's a lot to try to do at once um, I'm still like doing things like I'm like learning some vocab and like learning some sentences and like learning some new structures and things like that but really slowly and really basic like i was listening to this podcast called talk to me in korean i have a book so i like i have some stuff that i've been working my goal is to learn conversational korean, korean and french by time i'm 30. so that means i have six years I'm still watching like a lot of Korean, listening to a lot of Korean, I watch a lot of YouTubers who like have Korean and English subtitles, which helps. I can like read Hangul pretty, like I, can, I know Hangul, like the alphabet. I'm still working on like the wolf, like the one. It feels like a fire alarm, it's so loud. I don't like it. me out but like the version of the f word in korean the sh word freaks me out even more and then rice I don't know if it's gonna do anything because it's been for so long. We got this. Okay, let's turn this down so you don't pop literally all over me. Didn't know what I was getting into with like the title, 
I can remember to show you a clip of it finished and like plated. I will, if not, like, here I'll show you what they look like. They're kind of burnt, but like, I'm not, no shame in my burnt game because I want them to be cooked. So, there's the bok choy rice mixture and then better shot of the pork. Um, Common to me. I forget. Persons? Um, because I didn't have soy sauce, and I don't know what that's. It's really good. I'm not even hungry. I would do this again. I know, I just literally spent an hour moaning about it. I will do it again. All right. I hope you like this really, really off the cuff video. Check out Oh My Ghost, which I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore. That's where I watched it. The Cowboy Typewriter is also on Netflix. Um, ch um, chocolate, also on Netflix. Bye.